At just eight years old, Wilson Bonneau is all alone. Both of his parents were killed in the earthquake. What goes through your mind when you think about them? I miss them a lot, he tells me. I used to cry all the time. Now the streets of Port-au-Prince are his home, a filthy fountain, his bath, and this, his bed. Can you show me how you sleep when you sleep at night? Early like estimates that. by the United Nations suggest, like Wilson, there could be up to 60,000 children who were killed, separated from their families, or orphaned by the earthquake. And aid organizations are scrambling to prevent these kids from being abused, exploited, or illegally adopted. We have heard reports of children being uh, taken out of the country, and UNICEF is very concerned about this. Children are the most vulnerable in any disaster. Kate Conrad is with the aid group Save the Children. They've called for a halt to new adoptions until it can be verified that these children are indeed orphans. We don't believe that every unaccompanied child is an orphan, and it's really important that we don't take children out of the country if their parents or families are here and they're desperately searching for them. It's believed there are around 200 orphanages in the capital city. Some simply cannot accept any more children. Why don't you go to an orphanage? I would love to go to an orphanage, Wilson tells me, but sometimes the place is occupied and I'll go sleep in the grass. Like so many here after the earthquake, Wilson is left to fend for himself. Seth Doan, CBS News, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.